Hey friends, how are you? Welcome to a new video of the channel. Today we bring the review of a dehumidifier and you might ask, what is it for and what can we talk about these types of devices? And they are crucial for maintaining good health in your stay. Controlling humidity, even preventing structural damage, purifying the air, and in this case, even drying clothes. We're going to talk about this COMFEE Easy Drip 2050, as its own name indicates, capable of processing up to 20 liters daily with a 3 liter tank and control via Wi Fi application. All this and much more we will talk about today. Join me to see if this device is really worth it. This is Tech Ground. Comfy is a brand that is dedicated to creating a wide range of appliances that focus on simplicity elegance and functionality in a simple and intuitive way. In this case, we are going to focus on this dehumidifier, which is the Easy Dry 20 liter model. It is also available in 16 liters. Before we begin, please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like. Let's do a quick unboxing to see what's inside the box. Let's see what comes in this package. Well, as you can see, the box is quite large. Let's first remove the straps. As you can see here, we have a quite flashy box, very colorful. The front part, as we can see here of the summifier in different languages, an image of the summifier itself. Here, in this bottom left part, in this other part over here, we can find the liters, which are 20 liters per day with low noise, a universal wheel, and it also has an ionizer. We lift and remove. The truth is that it's quite easy to open this package, and here would be the product already. On the back are attached the instructions, user manual, the plastic pipe to drain the condensation and load, I suppose, the product itself. Here are the different components on this little sheet and the user and installation manual in Spanish and in different languages. It has wheels, the bottom part, let's see. It has wheels to be able to move it. The power cord is here at the back, rolled up, Back part, where we have access to the radiator. Here you can see the intercooler radiator. Here you can see that it has an access here. Uh, what we can see here is the water level to know the amount of water that the dehumidifier itself has. The two handles on one side and on the other. This will be everything that comes in the box. Let's see it, test it, and I'll tell you more features of the device. Well, we already have it out of its box. You've already seen what was inside. The device only with this plastic silicone tube for the device's own water drainage. As usual, we'll discuss the item's size, materials, and design. As for the size, 49, six centimeters high, almost half a meter by 34.8 centimeters wide by 23.9 centimeters deep, having a total weight of 14 kilograms. It's built in plastic, which is the outer casing, and in a white, glossy white. As you can see, it's not soft to the touch but what makes it also choose a little the weight of the device. On the front, we find the tank, a three liter tank. As you can see, it is quite spacious. It comes with its handle. This makes it quite comfortable also when transporting it, when moving it and holding it. It's good so that the water doesn't spill and inside the tank, there is a buoy. It's good for measuring with a sensor when it's full and the device itself warns us when the tank needs to be emptied. Okay, on the inside, as you can see, a dark gray that is also constructed in plastic materials. And here will be the contact and the sensor of the buoy itself. As you can see on the right side, up here comes the handle and on the left side as well. Okay, we have the other handle to also lift and transport it when necessary. The back part that collects the cable here. This comes in quite handy because this way we will have the loose cable and we will always have it held in this area here. In this top part, here we will have the little cap. Where the drainage tube will go? Okay, it will go in this part here. To drain the water, when the tank fills up directly, you can drain the water from the back and we don't have to remove the tank every now and then. It's up to you to take it out, but uh, let's know that we have this option, which is also quite good that it came in the package. And up here, we will have access to the filter that is placed here. And above all, for the ionizer issue and for the particles, the dust. The ionizing function that this COMFEE Easy Dry has is that it releases negative ions into the air to improve the quality. These ions attach to positive particles, such as dust and bacteria, making them fall to the ground and also being trapped by the filters, which reduces allergens and refreshes the environment. 
This effect is similar to the fresh air you feel after a storm or when you're near a waterfall, helping to balance the ion charge in enclosed spaces, especially in places with a lot of humidity and electronic devices. Here we have direct access to the grater. 3 liter capacity in the tank, as I've mentioned, and it can purify up to 20 liters daily. In 24 hours running at full capacity in a humid environment, it can produce up to 5.28 gallons per day. It can work alone in an area between 40 and 100 square meters. Therefore, it is advisable between 35 and 60 square meters so that it has optimal performance efficiency. The result varies based on the size of the living space and the force applied, but it can reach up to 100 square meters. Another key point is its power consumption of 440 watt hours, which greatly reduces the electricity bill, especially during these times of high electricity costs. Then, the refrigerant, which is R290, that takes care of the planet and global warming. This brand takes environmental sustainability seriously, recognizing that all companies should consider their green footprint because the world belongs to everyone. More things control through the Wi-Fi application. Now you will see a video where we also explain a bit about the application and the modes it has. If we look here at the top, at the ventilation grill, we can see that at the top it has a fin or a blade that we can configure ourselves and that is already installed so that it can oscillate and move the air in different directions. In this way, we will be able to propagate what is the flow of air through different directions even, block it at a point so that the absorption or emission of air is directed if we want to dry, for example, clothes. This is super differentiating compared to other dehumidifiers that do not have it. And this Comfy Easy Dry already has it installed. And it is a very positive point. The buttons you will see now, starting from the right, are the power button, right button and left button. Power button, that by keeping it pressed, we can connect it to Wi-Fi, as I mentioned. Then the frets button, which we can control the height of the blind and how it moves, also the flip. And if we keep it pressed, it will move automatically. The power, low, medium, high. Okay, we have the low, medium and high mode. And then if we press three times, when the filter is dirty and the light appears, we can reset that same light up and down button that here we can configure both the level of humidity and the number of hours that we are going to be able to configure also with the last button mode button where we will have the customizable button the standard button which we can do manually the continuous mode which will be working continuously at maximum power until it reaches its mark the smd mode which is the smart mode and finally the dryer mode which this mode will be used to dry clothes whether on a rainy day, when we have the clothesline inside, or in our dressing room. And finally, the timer button. With this last button, we can plan the hours we want it to work from half an hour to 24 hours. It's important to know that automatically, when it reaches the humidity it has, it will turn off until it detects different changes in humidity, then it will reactivate. It's important to note that this will save energy by not running continuously, I've already explained everything, demonstrated the application and how it works, and discussed the conclusions. Here we have the smart home application. Okay, we open it and the first thing it tells us is to add equipment. In this case it tells us to add nearby devices. I have already held down the button and I get AP there, I click on add, I go into my Wi-Fi, and I have already synchronized the Sonifier equipment. With that name, I save it. It tells me it's off, it tells me the room's humidity, as you can see there. Okay, at 54%, I turn it on and it would start working, okay? You've seen the different types of buttons that we're going to be able to control from here. Okay, set it to low mode. It doesn't show it here, it doesn't mark it. 75%, 60, 50, 40, okay? We can choose the amount of humidity, speed level, low, medium or high, okay? In this case, I set it to low so it can be heard well. Here the swing, if we activate it, the flip will oscillate the blind up and down and the moment we deactivate it, it will stay in the fixed position. The different modes, night mode at night, okay? 50% low in the living space, 60% high and in the storage room, 55% and also high, okay? And below, we would have the different modes to dry the clothes, the continuous mode that I was also talking about, and the smart mode. All of these can be combined with onion, which is the ionizer to purify the air while it is working in the different modes. Okay. 
Here it tells me that I can't touch it. Here I can in continuous mode. Yes, it lets me customize it. And this would be the application where we would have absolute control of the entire device. We go here and turn off the device. Well, you've seen how it works, how its application works, all the features it has. And I'm going to tell you my conclusions after having used it for a few days. And this system for me is quite efficient. The design it has, well, goes unnoticed in the house, not very flashy, it has a quite long cable. And above all, the remote control, which also makes it very smooth when working with it. And well, the efficiency it has and the way it purifies the air, especially the ionizing feature. It's important to ensure optimal air quality at home and work. I'm quite satisfied with the test results. I had never worked with a product of these characteristics. I had never had it at home. I mean, I've seen them and I've dealt with them, but if I have to highlight some negative points, it would be in the application. When I've mentioned it, it hasn't been mentioned before. When you're in the different modes that set the different scenarios you have, the night sleep mode, the general stay mode, and the storage room mode, or if I want to configure that again, if I want to reconfigure the application, I have to go here to the set button and give it back to manual to reconfigure everything. So, well, that would be a point that for me is not very efficient. And once you're in the application, it lets you go back to the mode again. That would be quite timely. Otherwise, in this price quality relationship, it's quite good. We will leave the different purchase links so that you can investigate and choose the best option. I hope this review that we have done today helps you understand how it works and to be able to identify with them in case you want to buy one and have an element of these characteristics in your house to have better air quality. Health and taking care of our environment are of utmost importance. And well, thank you very much for watching us. Give it a like, subscribe if you are not subscribed, activate the notification bell so you don't miss any video. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next episode of TechGround. See you soon. Thank you.